nothing compares to New York spring and summer, like nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. If I had to back, I would not get all that. I would have played it just how you wanted to play it. You didn't yet see my words, so you try to play me. But I was so in love. Oh, then I just got a little Hey guys, I just got a new light. TikTok made me do it. Ah. But is it popping or. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Che. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love building this community on YouTube and connecting with you all on Instagram and TikTok. So thank you and hi to my new friends. Today, I'm super excited. I don't know if you can tell. I'm really hype. I'm really like in my soft girl era. It's you know, just a casual Thursday, and I just got back from shopping, getting a facial, and getting a back massage. Oh, and I treated myself to lunch. Like, it's just a casual, soft girl Thursday that we live in over here. <laughs> but I just went and ran out to go and get um, a few things. I wanted to return some things from Alter, and, or Exchange, rather, and... Then I ended up going into a couple of retail stores and brought some like cute spring pieces. So I'm ready for this weather that's about to come up. I saw on the weather app that we're about to have like 32 degrees from Sunday to Wednesday, which is like 90 something degrees to Americans tuned in. So yeah, I'm ready for some warm weather. We need sun, we are living beings. So. I'm ready for that. I'm feeling much better. My allergies have subsided. And I just planned a trip to New York. I'm super excited. New York, for those of you who know me or who have been watching me for a moment, New York is home. I've lived in New York for the majority of my adulthood. I lived in New York for the past 10 years. And I've got friends who I consider family there so I'm super excited to be going back and especially when the weather is warmer if you know nothing compares to New York spring and summer like nothing 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 <laughs> um but yeah I just wanted to jump on here and say hi thank you all for engaging with my content and I really wanted to chime in and dive deeper on this soft girl era moment I I think it's really important for us as women to be treating ourselves. I think ultimately that is what sets the bar for anyone who we try to allow into our circle in terms of like fr new friendships, people who you're dating, um, co-workers, just in all professional and personal capacities. I think people who you share energy with, I think it's really important for you first and foremost to set the bar of how you want to be treated. And I think I am in true embodiment of that. I make sure that I have like a slow, soft, <laughs> but a slow start and an intentional start to my mornings. I always start with like incense, tea, music. I don't get on phone calls before 12 noon. And just setting those small little boundaries which help you to have a more centered energy and an intentional approach to ultimately becoming the best most authentic version of yourselves i also get regular back massages and do other little things treat myself at shopping take myself out to lunch do other little things that really just allows me to enjoy my company i think this is also another really really important point you need to enjoy your own company before sharing company with others and i think this is something that just comes with age and with growth we have to go through these trials and tribulations i think very often we seek for validation or we seek 
what we're lacking or where there's a void we seek it from other people and that's not always a great idea because people's intentions might not always be in alignment in alignment with your vibration with where you're at with your perception and i think until you are very confident in your own beliefs I think it's a very slippery territory to allow somebody else in to ultimately to ultimately carve your opinion yeah I'm gonna leave it right here so that's all for right now I did plan a trip to New York as I mentioned I'm super excited to bring you guys along as I've mentioned New York is home home away from home whenever I touch down I know my way around I know where to go I know who I want to link up with and it's just always so fulfilling I watched a podcast recently with Jay Shetty and Kevin Hart and they was actually talking about absorbing energy from your circle I watched Lala's interview with Jay Shetty too and this was also actually on par on topic just drawing energy from people who are in your close circle your community your tribe I think that's how we can become also the best version of ourselves because we're human right we're gonna have days where we need that encouragement or that push or that motivation or that pep talk and I think it's really important with the people who we have around us to nurture that and to encourage us and to bring us back to those centered spaces when we're like feeling imbalanced. I just came off a call with my really, really good friend who goes by Nyla, DJ Nyla. Um, and she was just like, I'm doing this podcast. I really want you to be a part of it. And you know why? Because like you are that girl, like you really just make stuff happen. And we've been talking about it for a moment now, but I'm really happy to be able to launch it with you and to move forwards in this venture and everything that we can develop from this and putting our network and our heads together and just continuing to make this grow. And even further from that, looking back 20 episodes from now and just acknowledging and witnessing the growth and being proud of the journey just can't wait to bring you guys along to new york i'm so excited i also want to surprise my friend nyla with an outfit from my new collection and i'm just excited overall to be back in brooklyn brooklyn's home i'm so excited you can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying I can be Yeah, the one that you call and you talk to the girl I'll share my world with you If you don't waste your time with me If you don't waste your time with me I mean honestly Open your eyes and see If you don't waste your time with me 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 You could have all the space What did you need?
my name is Che. I am here with my girl DJ Nyla. We are at the beautiful Day in Brooklyn. <laughs> you know I'm so excited to be back in New York. We are today finally filming something that has been like on our radar, our vision board for, for a, a minute, moment. For a minute, yeah. So super excited for you guys to see the final outcome. Of course, we are highlighting black owned establishments, black creatives, and black owned spirits. So catch me behind the bar, I'll be shaking up some cocktails with some of my favorite spirits. And DJ Nyla is also going to lead the conversation. Do you want to give us a little synopsis? Of oh, what yeah. this is about? That's so good though. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we are starting Turn Me Up Nyla. This will be a weekly show. It was an idea that started from me wanting to highlight amazing DJs. Like the whole premise was remembering a time that you were at any event, whether it was a party, a wedding, and the DJ was lit. Like what was so lit about that DJ? Like what made you have such a memorable experience? So it started with that and it just turned into more about really kind of talking more about the experience. The experience of when you go somewhere and the music is dope and the drinks are amazing, how those two things go hand in hand. And come together. Yeah, and create such a vibe. So I just wanted to really highlight vibes and just have different people um, from all walks of life just talk about what is a vibe to them, you know? So, yes, yeah. I'm super excited. You guys stay tuned. This is gonna be dope. Turn me up, Nyla. Hey, Featuring let's go. As the DM, BK, and my bro. Alcohol whatsoever. Okay, DJ. Very great. But I don't like when you fish. I don't like you to say. I want to do this. Production. <laughs> BTS. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it the things that get me high? Won't you come with me and spend the night? kind of just doing content so I you will see I showed and rotated several outfits but I just showered and put this dress on I am going to get my day started but it's the next day I'm staying at the beautiful Tillery Hotel downtown Brooklyn yesterday was a full day shoot hence why you know gotta use these my signature <laughs> go-to gold collagen under eye patches i really need a brand sponsor so if they just want to send me some more go ahead because the way i will be promoting these but anyway just wanted to jump on here and say good morning i am so 
elated to be back in Brooklyn. This is really home and the energy just inspires me to want to get stuff done. Today's agenda is maintenance. So yesterday I quickly went to go and get a manicure because I was shooting so I needed my nails to look put together and polished. But today I'm going to get a pedicure and then I'm going to get my lashes done. If you guys know me or if you've been following me for a minute, you know that I'm a lash girl. However, I've taken a break and I haven't had lashes in the past almost one month because allergy season had me down and out. I don't know if you can tell I sound a little raspy right now, but I literally rubbed out all of my lashes. <clears throat> but I feel like I'm on the tail end of it now, so I'm going to go and get my lashes done. I don't know if it's a stretch, but I might want to get my hair done. Um, the humidity has had my hair like super poofy, so I might, mm, I don't know, I'm debating because I don't know if I want to get braids because I know that that's going to take anywhere between four to six hours and I don't want to waste my short amount of time in New York by sitting in someone's chair in a salon. So I was thinking about getting a silk press, but I also know that like DC humidity is just disrespectful to my natural hair. So. I'm not sure, but I have a full itinerary for today. It's my homegirl's birthday, so I've got dinner plans for tonight. There's a couple of places that I also want to check out. But I'm super excited to be back in New York, but even more excited for you guys to see the final outcome of yesterday's shoot. I'm so proud of my girl Nyla. She and I have been speaking for a moment about this concept, and to see it come into fruition yesterday was incredible. Um, of course we underestimated how long it was going to be. It was a full production and we thought, mm, yeah, I think we'll be done by like 7 p.m. We'll go and get drinks and dinner. I didn't check into this hotel until 12.45 a.m. So it's um, 9, 10 a.m. right now. I'm feeling refreshed and rejuvenated and I'm hoping that these eye patches make me look like I had a great night's sleep. I did, shout out to the Tillery, I had a great night's sleep. I am just excited to get today started, so I am ready to be up and out early. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today, but catch me over on TikTok, I definitely have my phone on me, I'm not sure if I have my camera on me, but yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in, see you soon. Hey guys, it is later on in the day. I have just showered and changed and I'm heading to dinner to go and celebrate one of my friend's birthdays. Just wanted to give you a quick check in and update and a little fit check. I'm wearing this set with this cute little pearly bag. It's giving, um, what's it giving? Clueless? How do you like it? Have on these clear Prospex heels. Is it giving rich auntie? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Girls want girls.